Hey everyone, welcome to uh, Santa Monica. This is Third Street Promenade and it's where our Los Angeles development studio is. So just come with me and I'll show you inside. Okay, this is our um, fancy Santa Monica abode. So uh, come in with me. Okay. Well, this is where everyone comes to get caffeine up. This is um, where we do a huge amount of uh, meetings. And up here is uh, where the development area is. Here is the sort of main development area. This is where most of the engineers in LA and designers are based in production. Over here we have the cinematic section. So this is John and Chris working on something that you're going to see. And in here, where the universe is created, here is our sort of ship center, it's our concept section over here. Jessica, who's our local HR person. The community section, we're editing in here, and here's Ben at his desk. I will let you guys uh, listen to some other guys here at the Santa Monica offices tell you about what we did last year and what we are going to be doing next year. Hi, I'm Alex Mayberry, executive producer of Starts. I've been focusing on working with all the studios around Cloud Imperium to get them moving forward on all the other modules of the game. Travis Day, I'm the producer of Cloud Imperium Games. On the game side, I've been focusing predominantly on Arena Commander, the ship pipeline, the items and components pipeline, as well as the FPS. Hi, I'm Sandy Gardner, I'm the VP of Marketing. The past year, I have been doing all the marketing. I also oversee the customer service, which has been going really well. I'm Paul Reindel, and I'm the lead engineer here in LA. This year, I work on game planning to do in LA, but also big picture planning for my name is Forrest Stephan, the technical artist at Cloud Imperium Games. This past year, we've been working on building all the tech necessary to create Star Citizen. Everything from what loads of designers need to do in the engine, what world builders need to do, what artists need to make the art, functionality, gameplay. I'm Dan Tracy, I'm the lead technical designer, and I'm a bug smasher. The latest stuff that we've been working on actually is the, the legacy van, so we wanted to actually pull in all of the setups of the Hornets, the 300 series, and the Roars. Mark Aven, Supreme Bugs Master. So this year I've been working on bugs, bugs, and more bugs. Hi, I'm Gurmuk Basin, and I'm a concept artist. I've been working on quite a few ships. Now I'm currently working on the Carrick. I'm Dave Pettick, I'm lead writer. The past year I've been working on a lot of Spawn 42 stuff. I'm Ben Lesnick, I'm game designer and senior community manager. For the past year, about well, two years really, I've been working on the Star Citizen community. I'm Dan Gian, I'm the HUD and user interface designer. For the past year, uh, I've been working on art for the ship HUD and user interface. The accomplishment I'm most proud of really is putting a lot of process in place, putting roadmaps in place, making a lot of projects and all this the release of Marine Commander was really big for us. It's something we've been working on since the inception of this video. It felt really good to get at least the first iterations out there. It's just been a really good feeling to have that out live. I mean, it's something we really wanted to do with everybody. The thing I'm most proud of, the move to ship welcome is the physical world inside the ship walking around. Why the ship is flying is really cool. That was pretty cool. I guess I'm just proud of how far we've come in two years. And it's such an awesome thing. I think the thing that I'm most proud of is how all of the modules are actually coming together. It's quite exciting. I'm very proud of this. If there was one thing I was most proud of, it's getting a, a game that people can play. To get dogfighting, people can now race their ships. Our characters are basically these ships that are by far the most complicated assets that I've ever worked on in a game. And to be able to see all of that actually working in the game is pretty uh, impressive and it's definitely something to be proud of. We had this weird bug where when you get into a cockpit, and multiplayer only, the player could stand up randomly. It was a very annoying but fulfilling bug to fix. The one that stands out the most to me is the Constellation Phoenix. The community seems to love it, and uh, I'm definitely very proud of that. It's sort of the whole thing, seeing it from the inside out is just it's been incredible. So I guess what I'm what I'd be most proud of is the fact that we kind of separated out all of our information into modular components, and this will allow us to easily iterate on the user interface going forward. So this will probably be a bit of a transition tool for us where we move from working on what at the time was the flagship product of Arena Commander and really focusing on getting that out there to more of a supporting role as the Persistent Universe FPS and Squadron 42 and social modules start to roll out of the factory, we need to make sure that we are supporting them with the features that they need at the times that they need them. So 
So for the next year, my team here in LA will still focus on getting all the flight characteristics, getting the whole missile and radar system running, and all the other fun gameplay features we want to have in our dogfight scenarios. There is going to be a lot happening this next year. We are looking at esports competition, a webisode series, Squadron 42 is going to come online, which I'm really excited about. The things that we'll be contributing to most uh, this year, and will be uh, one of the funnest challenges and the big up payoffs, is to finally have multi-crew ships. Finally get that moment to play with your friends in the same ship, I think is uh, going to be pretty great. What we're contributing here from LA is all the core mechanics for all the dogfighting. That ties in heavily with every other section of the game, so even the stuff with the FPS and how we're doing the troop deployments, you guys will be seeing quite a lot with how we tie in the ship boarding mechanics with the dogfight aspects and then how that seamlessly transitions into first person. The thing I'm most excited about working on, back to which I'm working right now on with uh, Dan Tracy, is signatures. They cover everything from how our items generate signatures or balance, to how our missiles track on the things, to how your radar sees things. I concept all the ships that we do in-house. At the moment, I'm definitely very excited for the Carrick. It's turning out really cool. In the next year, we're going to be doubling down on communication keeping you informed about the game, what's coming through Around the Verse, through the forums, through comp links, uh, every way we can. What I'm going to be contributing to Star Citizen kind of the next year, improving the immersion of you know, your, your cockpits. All the cockpits are going to be fully functional and, and kind of this you know, sophisticated piece of software that just feels alive. The fact that we have players backing us and the ability to be open with our developers and be transparent about what we're doing is really unique. So knowing that all the backers are always like watching our progress, it's kind of scary, but on the other hand, it also like pushes very hard. It makes you push yourself to a higher level of excellence, because the only people you're answering to are the players that you want to play your game. And it's really a lot of fun to be able to share our work in real time. Just makes you kind of want to work harder and, and make sure that what you're doing is, is going to be fun for people to play and look as cool as it possibly can. Having hundreds of thousands of fans be able to see the development process is a bit bewildering. However, I just watch, I watch a lot of people play on Twitch, so I'm actually watching you guys also, so. I'm hoping that most of our community like what we do, and we certainly appreciate you guys. It's amazing to be able to contribute directly to our audience that loves us. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick uh, insight into what some of the people here have been working on last year, what they're looking forward to working on this coming year, and what they found about the challenges that we're about. And working on Star Citizen, it never ceases surprise and amazing. We're building a hugely ambitious game and just the dynamic of doing such an open method and having such uh, interesting and great feedback from everyone and the potential to sort of flesh it out in detail to a level that um, you normally wouldn't get to do. It is the most fun and enjoyable experience I've ever had making any game and I can't wait till you guys get to run around and fly and explore the full universe because all the elements that I can see sort of in various stages of production are all going to come together into this holistic, immersive world to venture around in. and I think it's going to be an experience unlike any other. Anyway, thank you for your time, thank you for your support and um, well, see you in the verse. <laughs>